from Proverbs 31, verse 13. She selects wool and flex and works with eager hands. She is like the merchant ships bringing her food from afar. She gets up while it's still night. She provides food for her family and portion for her female servants. She considers a field and buys it. Out of her earnings, she she paints a she plants a vineyard. She sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her task. She sees that her trading is profitable, and her lamp does not go out at night. Amen. Amen. It's Proverbs thirty-one. One, uh, 13 through 18. Amen. Amen. And Lord have uh, them blessed for the readers here and most of all the doers of his work. Amen. 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 I want to thank you Lord for this Women's Day program today. I am asking you to thank you, God, for everything that you've done for us, what you're still doing for us, Heavenly Father. I want to thank you, God, for everybody here today, God. Yes. Touch us right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Touch us right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes. I'm asking you, God, to be with us this evening, yes. to bring this program out right, God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So if y'all if y'all will please join with us in praise and worship. We're gonna start out with praise is what I do. Amen. Yeah. Praise is what I do when I wanna be close to you. I live my Oh. 
get in the spirit. Uh, Amen. We want to make this a powerful, powerful move for the Lord. Amen. Amen. We're doing Amen. it for the Lord, not for us. Amen. We're Amen. Up. We're Amen. Up. Amen. 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 Okay, next week we have a welcome, Sister Shalita Paul. Glory. Y'all like to hear me because I'm loud anyway. <laughs> I want to say good evening to each and every one of you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, I give thanks to God for the, he's the head of my household, and I thank God for my pastor and uh, all the pastors on the roster, Pastor Moore and Reverend Kim and Reverend Chase. Uh, that's all I see right now that I know of. But anyway, we want to say thank you for coming. There's many places Amen. that you could have been on this day, Amen. you know, this day and time. But we want to say thank you for coming out to St. Paul and blessing the Lord with us. We want you guys to get in the spirit, you know. Amen. Lift your hands, wave your hands, stomp your feet, shout amen. amen. You know, just praise the Lord this afternoon with yes. us, you know, because we come in here to praise God. We didn't come in here to fall dead, you know. So let's lift up our voices and sing. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And thank you guys for coming, and you are welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. amen. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thanks to the folks for that uh, welcome and can you feel a response from the guests. We can have the boss and to the pastor of this church and all pastors on the roster and members and friends. I was so glad when we got the invitation to save women that yes. Amen. it's time for women yes. to take a stand yes. for Jesus. Because Jesus gave all of us a purpose. He gave oh, all right. the women a purpose. Mm -hmm. So I was glad to get the invitation. Amen. And I always feel like I'm at home when I come here. Amen. But thank you for the beautiful, beautiful welcome. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Kemp, for the great Amen. Thank you. Now we're going to have a song from the choir. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> You guys know this song, sing along with us. All right. For some reason, I'm just as nervous. <laughs> oh, There's a rider.
going to have a talk on the women's by Sister Sylvia Jones. After that, we're going to have an offering. Then I'll come down. Amen. Amen. Good evening, everybody. Uh, first of all, thank you all for being here today. And I uh, thank you for the bosses all here today. And uh, I'm not the person to get up here and do all the talking. <laughs> but I like to say, the women is, is the backbone of the church. Because yeah. most time you go to church, you see mostly women. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But later the men are coming up and catching up with us. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to thank the Lord for the women that they hear for me when I need someone to talk to. Amen. When somebody's sick, when women get to go by and visit them, uh, do divorces, uh, do things for the other women, uh, sometimes talk to bring the young women to God. All right. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I just want to thank God about uh, the women of our church. Yeah. 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 And I will say again, thank God for the women of our church yeah. and yeah. different churches that comes in and visit us. Yeah. Yeah. Each time us young women come to church, we might not know everything to do or what to say. Yeah. Thank God for all the women of the church as well yeah. to keep us in line yeah. and let us know when we're doing something wrong. Yeah. And you know, back in the Bible days when uh, the woman washed Jesus' feet with her hair. Yeah. You tell it then there's some strong women. Yeah. Tell it. And we got to be strong because we have all the kids. And sometimes the husband's not there. All right. To help us raise them. They are working. I are hunting. Try to make a better living for us. All right. But as women's at home still bearing. All right. And taking care of raising them kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. All right. I got to keep saying it come. Yeah. God has brought us a long way, yeah. Adam and Eve. Yeah. Sometimes I think about that not in the Adam and Nick bring that Adam down. He ate the apple instead of uh, Adam, Eve feeding the apple to him. All right. But you know, uh, but still I say we do a lot of things here for St. Paul, St. Paul about yeah. Amen. trying to bring kids up right. Yeah. Yeah. And thank God for the men of the church. Yes. Amen. Yes. They're the bigger backbone. Because if it wasn't for them, the kids wouldn't be here. All right. Amen. And now sometimes I look at the lady of our church. Sometimes you have to tell her, slow down. She's sometimes like, she's like superwoman. And sometimes we have to tell her, slow down. Right. Let us help you. That's what us women of the church are supposed to do. To help the pastor and their wife. Amen. When somebody there, the pastor and the wife can't get there. All they need to do is pick up a phone. So, sisters, could you go visit somebody? Yeah. Could you go take somebody some groceries? Because yeah. they drive a long way each weekend to come yeah. down here in the pastor's church and be with us members and uh, give them things the young kids are doing. They come down here and go to their different activities. Uh, when the kids get up here, I I recorded one time a little girl wants to sing. She loved to sing. Amen. The pastor got up here on one knee and was singing with the little girl. And I keep that over and over. I remember all the good things. And there's some bad things in life, but we don't focus on the bad things. We focus on the good things. That's right. And when you see your sister doing something wrong, tap on the shoulder, pull her to the side, talk to us. Let us know we're not doing something. Right. If our skirts are too short, tap us. Yeah. Let us know something ain't right. Mm. I know when I used to visit the church, church I used to go to, our pastor wife used to have some, like some skulls. Uh -huh. We come to church and some of them like sit on the front row, the second row. You know, you got to show all your stuff. That's not good. So the pastor used to always practice and had a skull. She already had extra. She always take it and lay across the lady's lap. Amen. And let us know, you know, we showing too much. Amen. That's what it takes to have a good church. Everybody have each other back. All right. Stay behind each other. Yeah. When you need somebody to talk to, pick up their phone. Call one of the sisters. I can tell you by the time when I went through some trials and tribulation. And I was very angry. 
and I want to just go and just rip this person's head. Thank God I was talking to a child of God. She said, sisters, pray for that. Don't go there. It ain't even worth it. So that's what we're supposed to do. It's to help each other. There's so many of us in jail, so many of us in jail. If they had somebody like we got the church today to talk to us, talk them down, say it's not necessary. It's not worth going and spending your time behind bars. Let things happen. Give it to God, she keeps saying. Give it to God. I have love to give things to God. In the last month, I can truly say I had to go to San Antonio for my son. He got carbon dioxide poison. However you say it, I might be saying it wrong. I had to travel all the way to San Antonio, drive away to bank. Then I get back, my freezer was out. Mm. Lost all my meat. Then my air condition went out in the house. No, I'd be mad. Then my car quit. I said, the devil's after me. So that means I got to step up my game to speed up a little bit. The devil trying to catch you. You slow down, God. The devil going to get on your shoulder and get you to get mad and upset about things. It's not for us to battle. It's the battle is for God. And I learned, God, let God fight your battle. Because God is the one that's going to hold you together. Yes, sir. I just want to thank God that they give me the opportunity because I don't know how to get up here and talk. <laughs> I do everything I do this song to say I'm not going to do this. But I told her I would do it. So I got to let you know. Yes, ladies, let's stand strong. Stand behind your man. Stand behind your family. Don't let the devil take us out. We are here. We are here. To make a better day for everybody. And thank you for the opportunity. Well, it's offering time for everybody to participate in this. Amen. So, we'll get this done.